welcome to another video with DP Tubs. Today we're going to be going over a fiberglass crack repair. Basically, this old patch fell off and we're going to go ahead and repair this for the homeowner and get this tub back into shape. Now that I've wiped it off, I'm going to go ahead and take some 80 grit sandpaper and basically just scuff it up, remove any loose areas around the crack because this tub has already been reglazed before. So I'm just going to kind of feather out the edges. Customer put some tape over the area so there's a bunch of tape residue all around the cracks that I've got to fix. Whoever fixed this before did drill some holes at the end, which is the proper way to do it, but they didn't use fiberglass resin and cloth. So I'm going to go ahead and, and drill up the holes at the end of each crack. That way they won't continue to spread. And then I'm going to go ahead and get going on starting the patchwork. So here I'm getting ready just to kind of test out the fiberglass mat over the crack just to make sure I've got the area covered. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the resin, this fiberglass resin, and I'm going to mix it up. Uh, basically I'm going to pour in about four ounces and then I'm going to add 10 drops of the hardener for every ounce. So a total of 40 drops and then I'm going to mix it up and then get ready to apply it to the surface. So once I've got it all mixed up, I'm actually going to take the resin and pour it over the crack just to kind of get it tacky for when I put the, the mat down. It has something that's going to stick to it. And so I just kind of spread it around the crack. It'll also harden and fill in some of that crack as well. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do this, spread it out, and then I'm going to put the mat right over it so that way it kind of sticks into place. And then you are, you're always going to want to pour the resin over the crack and then spread it out with the brush from the middle out. Always go from the middle out and the, the mat will lay much smoother.
And then on the upper ledge, I'm gonna basically do the same process. I'm gonna go ahead and I already put down the resin, put down the mat, and now I just spread off some more resin. And I'm gonna go from the center out again. So one thing that I didn't mention earlier was when you mix the resin, you want to do the drops 10 at a time, mix it 10 at a time, mix it. Don't do all 40 at once. I found that the resin will actually dry quicker that way. It actually gets really hard, but you have to wait about a good 45 minutes, maybe an hour uh, before you can get it hard enough where you can sand on it. And here you can see I'm pushing on it and I even stand on it, it's not budging. And so I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down and get it ready for the Bondo glass that I'm gonna put on. So what I'm gonna do next is put on Bondo glass, sand it, and then I'm gonna put on some smoothening putty. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand it and then get going with the extra layers. Alright, so now we've got the uh, Bondo glass and I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed up. So you always take the hardener and go sh completely across. Don't go halfway, it'll take forever to dry. So you want to get one bead going across and then mix it up really well. And then you're just going to skim it over the area. It's not going to be perfectly smooth, but the Bondo glass has small like fibers or hairs, short strand hairs which will help with the strength of the area as well. So we're gonna get this going, put on a couple coats of this, and then we will go ahead and get ready for the smoothening putty. So we've got the area all patched up and you, as you can see it's not smooth but this will harden and it'll be it'll be very secure so I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down and then I might put another coat but then I'll get right into putting the smoothening putty on uh, before I get ready to spray so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on sanding So here I am with the smoothening putty. It's an all-purpose putty. You can just get it at Home Depot. They have a couple different grades. Uh, there are some that are quite expensive that you can use. I don't mind this right now for this type of repair. And so um, some of them sand down a lot easier. So same thing, I'm gonna put the bead of hardener across, apply it, and then I'm gonna sand it. And this will take a couple coats to get it nice and smooth.
take 150 grit sandpaper and just run it over the area. Usually I'll go a little bit coarse on the first coat just to knock everything down. And so I'll go ahead and take this 150 and start smoothing it out. So I just wanted to show you guys here, those runs, those drips, and this patch down here, that's not me. So I, this customer just wanted to pay for the area that was cracked, and so I've ignored the other areas from the previous reglazing company. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and spray on the primer, just a real light primer, just to kind of stain block it. And the primer also helps me realize or see uh, if there's any imperfections that I might have to go over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this on before I get the final coat going. All right, you guys, so once the primer has set up and dry for about 30, 45 minutes, I'll go ahead and use the Krylon spray, aerosol spray. I use this because it's just for touch-ups. Um, instead of taking out the gun, mixing everything up, it's the same product. I actually really like Krylon Tub and Tile. You can get it at your local Sherwin-Williams, or most carry it. Um, and so I use the aerosol for touch-ups, and so uh, it works really well. So we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, touched up and see if we could even notice. Do my best also to try to blend it in with the original tub that they had reglazed prior. 